All right, what is up, creators? It's Rochelle here with Word Genius, and I am going to do a deeper dive into email templates. Real quick, before we get started, we are going to head over to our documents page and create a new folder where we can store our created marketing emails. Now that we have that finished, let's spin up a quick email. Following along with the template, we will add a persona, a brief description of the product, and some information I just copied over from our Word Genius website. Go ahead and create the content. We can refine later. As you can see, this is going to take a few seconds to generate, but way faster than if you were to start from scratch. Let's give it some time to load. Once your initial email has been created, you can do things like edit small snippets from that content and have the AI make the adjustments for you. To do this, simply highlight the text that you would like to rewrite. Make sure not to grab too much content at any one time. It's best to make these changes in small segments. Once you confirm, you are good to go on those changes. You can also choose to expand on written content to add more detail. Again, highlight the text you want to change and click Expand to initiate the changes. Be patient as the AI does its thing on the adjustments. Again, check the change and confirm. But no one reads long emails, and this is already long enough, so I'm just going to undo that last change real quick. Locate the Undo button and revert the changes back. We can also add website links directly into the email. Let's add the URL for the Word Genius website by finding a reference point and highlighting that text. Look for the link icon and specify the web address desired. Finally, hover and verify the change is live. After tidying up, you can now save this email to the new folder we created in our Documents section. Be sure to give it a good file name and stay organized. Once your file is named, specify the folder you would like to store it in. What separates our platform from others is you have the ability to organize and store your content to reference later. Be sure to click Save. Let's take a look at this now that we have it stored. Head on over to your documents. You can choose to export this file or more than likely revisit the edit prompt to make further changes. Once you are satisfied, go ahead and copy this over to your favorite inbox and let the marketing games begin. Questions? Head on over to our support page where you can get in touch with a non-AI generated human who will be more than happy to assist you in becoming a content creation superhero. Be sure to like and subscribe for more video tutorials like this one.